Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a weekend reading. I was going to do it last night, but something came up, family issue. So, um, yeah, so here we are. We're going to do the weekend reading Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, 29th, 30th, and 31st. What do we got? This is for the collective. It may or may not resonate with you. It may or may not. This is for somebody who needs it the most. This is going to be a different spread. It's going to be the, you know, you've seen it many times. Um, we're just going to see what comes up for the collective. For the weekend. What do we got to look forward to? Ooh. Four of Wands. Oh boy. This is happiness. This is commitment. This is extremely happy. We could somebody could be going, you know, to a gathering. They could be going out on a date. I don't know. This is because this is the commitment card. Partnership. Happiness. But there's always a challenge. Oh, and it's a big one. Fear. Fear of being cheated. This could be self de deception. Yeah, there could be fear of deception. There could be some deception. There could have been some cheating. I don't know. But this is betrayal. Could be fear. Fear of betrayal. Let's see what else we got here. It is a challenge. It's a challenge to trust, especially after being betrayed. That could be your own thoughts, though. The Seven of Swords. I mean, that's a thought. Fear of being lied to, right? We've had a we've had a we've had a completion. Something has ended. A significant phase in your life has ended. Somebody, you know, you can celebrate that last phase, that last whatever it was that you went through as a success because you learned something from it. Don't let your fears hold you back from your happiness. I just got to tell you that right off the bat. You know, releasing those burdens, releasing that old baggage is going to bring you balance, okay? It is. So presently, we have somebody here that, you know, is releasing. They are releasing. They're letting go. They're making conscious changes to bring happiness to their lives. We have another step, though. It's, it's trusting. you got to be able to trust. So, let me just zoom that in, or focus it, or whatever you want to call it. Alrighty then, so it looks to me as though we have somebody here that is really, really, really focusing on moving forward. And they may have a new commitment like right in front of them. And they're really thinking about, it's like I'm really, really trying to... You know, plan accordingly. We have somebody here that may be taking all the time they need to heal. They're still healing and they're refocusing and they're planning their future. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom with the last lesson that they learned. They have gained a lot of life experience and it's like now they just want to make the right move. I feel as though we have somebody here that is restraining themselves from running forward. But... Um, There's definitely a spark. Okay, there is a spark. I feel like we have somebody here that is going within because they want to make sure that they make the right decision. There's a delay. Somebody may not be moving as quickly as you'd like. And it's because, you know, they're being wise. They want to make sure that this this is the that it's gonna last. They want to make sure that nobody's gonna get hurt here. So I feel as though we have a person that is in the process of making a decision in regards to 
uh, starting over. There's definitely a desire and there's a spark. There's a there's an attraction. I think that there's there is an opportunity to find happiness, to find a commitment, but there's a delay in it moving as quickly as you want. I think that there's things are not moving as quick as you want because we have a very wise individual here who is wanting to make sure that they're making the right move you know they're they're doing the right thing i think that somebody has learned a big lesson about acting impulsively because i mean wands are impulsive and you know they've realized that they've gotten themselves into some predicaments that have led to hurt and pain and they're they really learned a serious lesson here a very wise individual who is taking the time that they need before they rush they're not going to rush into something you know that isn't going to last. So that's what I see here. I feel like somebody, they may not be um, extending their their heart out as much as you'd like. Maybe this person is still healing. Maybe they are still healing. Maybe they've just completed a, a huge cycle in their life and they need this time to reflect. So I feel like we have somebody that's in deep thought here. They're in a, they're in a time of reflection. They're still in a time of healing. They do see potential for a commitment. They do feel a spark. They do feel a desire. But there's definitely a delay. It's like they can't take action right now because they don't want to make any wrong decisions. There's fear of change. There's indecisiveness. They're restricting themselves for some reason. You know, they're trying to play it safe. They're being held back. They're being held back because... They're just not ready. They're not ready. And you need to respect that. I, you know, I really feel as though this person is just wanting, you know, they want to make sure that they're going to they're gonna get what they deserve. You know what I mean? This Nine of Cups, this is wish fulfillment. This is abundance. They want to make sure that They're happy so that they can make you happy. You know what I mean? They want to make sure that this is going to lead to wish fulfillment. And I think that they they have this inclination that it could lead to wish fulfillment, but they're really trying to be sure of it. This, we have somebody here that is probably retreating a little bit. They aren't really taking action. They may seem that they're not emotionally involved, but... They definitely feel the the pull. They feel the passion. They feel the desire. They they have an, they have a, a they feel the, the the energy per se. I really feel as though there's a connection here that is a sudden connection. You know, all of a sudden they feel this sudden connection. They feel this sudden they feel this sudden desire to you know, perhaps partner up with somebody. This is a new passionate beginning. It's like they, they feel it. They feel it. And they they think that it could lead to wish fulfillment, but they want to be sure before they move forward. We're going to get, we're going to go back around. We're not going to clarify the challenge card because we already know the challenge is fear of being cheated, fear of being lied to, fear of deception. There is an opportunity for our happiness here. And I think that we have somebody here that sees that. You know, they see the spark, they feel the spark, they feel the passion, they feel the desire, but for, they can't move forward right now because they're thinking about it. They are absolutely thinking about it. Oh my gosh, the four of wands with a ten of coins, this is, a, you know, getting in a commitment for sure. This is, this is fear. Somebody may be fearful of a commitment and they're thinking about it. They are thinking about it. Um, in the past, you know... They didn't get what they they didn't get what they wanted. They didn't get they didn't they didn't they didn't get the wish fulfillment. It didn't work out. But they learned something from it. And now they're definitely protecting themselves. Somebody is is very wise. Somebody has been through a battle. Okay, they've been through a battle. They've been wounded. They've, you know, really persevered and we have somebody that is really really definitely trying to do the right thing
we have somebody here that has come a really, really, really long way. They have gained so much wisdom on their journey that they know that they that they ha they have to be ready, you know. That somebody is really trying to protect not just themselves, everybody else involved. This person is highly aware of what they are doing. It's like this person has is a very wise individual. We have a wise individual here who is not wanting to hurt anybody. Doesn't want to get hurt themselves. This person is not um, taking action right now. They're not taking action because... They're going through a shift. They're going through a change. They understand that better things are coming. They have just completed a cycle in their life and they, and they realize that, you know, divine timing plays a part. They trust in divine timing, whoever this person is. We have somebody here that is going through a major change in their life. Yeah, awakening. Five of Wands. <sighs> this person is trying to protect themselves. They are. Somebody is 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 refraining from moving forward because they're trying to protect themselves. I feel like they dealt with somebody in the past that didn't love them. And perhaps they want to, maybe they want you to prove it. Maybe they want you to, you know, prove that you trust them. I don't know. We have somebody here that wasn't loved in the past. And, and perhaps now you need to just, let me get one more card. Think positive. Have confidence. Keep moving forward. Hold your head up high. Somebody has, has dealt with a person that really, really hurt them. really hurt them. That's the five of swords. Didn't love them. I mean, that's what we got here. And now we have somebody that is making progress and gaining self-confidence to, you know, bring victory and success to their lives. So I think that somebody is moving away from the hurt. They're moving away from the situation that really hurt them and they they are gaining confidence, but it doesn't happen overnight, but it, things are progressing. It, things are progressing in a positive manner, manner. Whoever this person is that you're waiting for, I think that they do have pure intentions. But they have been hurt very badly. They've been through some sort of war, you know. Um, we could be dealing, we, de we have a Capricorn here. We have uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Aquarius. We have Virgo. We have Leo. We have Scorpio. We have Taurus. And we have Aquarius. We have hey, Pisces. We have everybody else. It doesn't really matter. Anyhow, we have somebody that is indecisive about... Uh, following their desires. It's like they have this connection, they have this desire, but they they just don't do. Maybe they don't want to get bound. I feel like we have a strong, strong attraction here where somebody is really afraid to move forward. They're afraid to get bound. That's what I keep seeing with this. They're afraid to get chained. <laughs>
there's definitely an attraction with this and the ace of ace of wands here there's a there's an undeniable attraction between two people and somebody is trying to make the you know most logical decision here Whatever this is, it could lead to commitment and marriage. Absolutely. These are both marriage cards. Absolutely. Externally, the ego could be in the way. You know, somebody somebody could be letting their ego, you know, their fears. The devil bring the devil brings in ego, which brings in steals fear. They're letting their fear get in the way. The fear of making the wrong decision, the fear of commitment, the fear of getting bound. So I think there's definitely fear of getting bound. But this change that is happening, it's happening for a reason. It's time. It's time. With a Wheel of Fortune, it's time. But somebody's not taking action because of fear. Absolutely. And it's like, now, <laughs> I have to tell you that this person does see you as wish fulfillment. They do, do see you as abundant. They do see you as an awakened individual. They do. This person is a little bit stuck, but they are being enlightened. And it looks to me as though... Right now, they're, they're probably fighting their desires. They are. They're probably very conflicted about how they feel. They feel the passion. They feel the, they, they, they feel the attraction, but they're conflicted about it. They're afflicted. They're, they are. They are. They may, fear that, they may fear that they have competition, okay? So if they do, maybe you need to tell them that they don't have any competition, that they're the only one. I just need to tell you because down here I can see that as well. They may fear that they have competition. They may fear that you're playing games with them, but they definitely feel an attraction. I feel as though whatever is happening, it is destiny. It's meant to, it's meant to happen. This is, this is an opportunity to change your direction in a positive manner. I feel as though... We have a genuine offer of love here. We do. I feel like somebody is is really opening their heart. And they see it. The, the other person sees it. The other person sees this person's um, big, big heart. And perhaps, you know, they're, they're thinking about... Um, they're thinking about letting love in. They are. But they also know that they have to completely be healed from the past. I feel like we have a new connection here in which there's a little bit of a delay of it coming to fruition because of, I think, inner conflict and making sure that they're doing the right thing. We have somebody here that, yeah, wants to make sure that this is the right thing. It's like I don't want to get myself... In a love situation that is unhappy, I don't want to get myself in anything that isn't going to grow. I don't. I don't. I feel like somebody is 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 feeling like they're not. This person doesn't have feelings for them, but I think this person does have feelings. I think there's already feelings here, but I think this person is definitely trying to protect themselves. But you know, I think the truth is going to come out. I think that this person is probably going to communicate how they feel soon. Um, this is the death card reversed. They are holding on to something still that has, you know, it's the death card reversed. They're holding on to something that has passed, right? And I feel as though this person is in the process of coming out of hermit mode, but you need to give them a little bit of time. Sometimes it, it takes more time to, you know, start over. So I think that we're dealing with somebody that has been through a very troublesome, painful, you know, situation in which they've been wounded very heavily. And, you know, they're transitioning. They're going through the transition, but they haven't completely stepped over that finish line yet. But they do feel an attraction, a strong attraction, and they have this desire to move forward. And they are, they are, do see this as being wish fulfillment, but they are protecting themselves right now. Um, whatever is happening is, is meant to be. It's destiny. It can lead to a beautiful, loving commitment where it's long term, it's forever.
So I, I really feel like this weekend, you may not get the communication or the movement that you want, but it's all for a, a reason. Because we have somebody here that, that is in the process of going through a transition. They do feel a spark. They do feel an attraction. And they do see the love and the abundance that is being offered. But they may be afraid of commitment at this time. But they're working through it. So give them time. That's my advice. Where are we at? Well, the camera's not dying yet. Let's get one of these. We do have a new beginning here. We do. We absolutely do. The overall outcome is a new a new beginning, a passionate new start that where there will be growth, there will be growth. And it is meant to be with that wheel of fortune. It's destiny. There's a de it's destiny, but there's a delay. With that knight of wands, it's like action is not being taken because somebody is really wanting to make sure it's going to work. So they're planning. They're planning. They're they're doing the work that they need to do so they are emotionally available. This person is not emotionally available right now because they're healing. That's what the hermit is. So give them time in the flow everything is smooth sailing we've had this card many times haven't we let go of the shore enter the flow you're moving into a period of gracious ease and flow all is unfolding perfectly and with good timing everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life enjoy the ride this isn't the time to try to control the events of your life. Let the creator support you. You don't have to do it all by yourself. The glory of the universe flows through you. It's not always easy to let go of the shore. However, this card is urging you to take a risk and let it go. When you are truly in the flow, you don't need to push or exert effort to make things happen. You can flow around any obstacle. If there's a situation in your life that isn't falling into place, let it go. It's just not the right time. When you're in a state of flow, you aren't pushing the river to go faster and you aren't swimming against it. You just enjoy the ride. If you aren't feeling the smooth current of life, it might mean that you're trying to control the situation. Let go of the control. Let it happen when it's meant to happen. It's going to happen. And it's going to lead to a very strong, solid, long-term, stable commitment. But you cannot push it. And that is what I have for the weekend. Good luck.